I'm Rindon Ricks with TJ Free. In this tutorial series, we'll learn how to use the free program GIMP to create 2D art and photo edit our images. If you're not familiar with GIMP, it's a free program available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, and it's very similar to Adobe Photoshop. This is a free open source program that's free forever and very full featured and professional. In this tutorial series, we'll learn how to use GIMP from a very basic level. I'll teach you how to install it, and then we'll learn the basic tools, how to create a new project, how to manage that project and export our images in different file formats. I use GIMP just about every day to resize images and to do quick little edits. But I do want to sh uh, say that there are some different alternatives depending on what you want to do. If you're interested in digital art, you should really look into Krita. It's also an open source project that is much more uh, geared towards working with brushes and kind of recreating the, the aesthetics of fine art and creating art on a computer. I would steer away from using GIMP for that purpose, even though you can use GIMP for creating digital art. Also, if you're working with raw photos or you're working with just photography, where you're just wanting to adjust the colors, there's a really good free program called Darktable for that. It's similar to Adobe Lightroom, and it's going to be a very much more powerful tool than GIMP for working with actual photos, including raw photos. But if all you want to do is some basic edits, you want to maybe touch up photos, uh, GIMP is a great tool for that. I've used it in the past for repairing tears on photographs and, and maybe taking out parts of photos where you erase a part of it or you take two different pictures and composite them on top of each other. So a lot of great powerful things. If you work a lot in web uh, or you want to like quickly design like an ad bar or something, GIMP is a great tool for that. Just an all around good tool to have. So I'm glad you found this tutorial series. Um, go ahead and check out the other videos. I'll include them in the link in the, the links for them in the description of this video. And if you're interested in open source software in general, check out my channel. I have playlists on all kinds of open source software for video and creative and music and all kinds of things. So check those out and go ahead and uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.